Hola, yo soy Tyler y este es Comida con Tyler. Okay, so today what we're gonna be cooking is we're gonna be cooking some Mediterranean chicken. So what I have is I have a large pan. Ah, where's it? Large pan, I have some spices, and I have some mushrooms cut up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some olive oil into the pan, throw some different spices into the pan, and then throw the mushrooms into the pan. So, we put some olive oil into the pan, like so, like two or three tablespoons. We take some garlic powder, and we throw some garlic powder up in there. Just a good generous dollop or sprinkling. Take some oregano, put a good generous sprinkling of oregano up in there. Takes a little bit of thyme. Throw a good little bit of thyme up in there. And then we take our mushrooms and we're gonna put them in the pan and we're going to let them saute. So, we have our mushrooms. We're going to throw them into the pan. We're gonna hopefully let them saute a little bit. So, that's gonna happen now. All right, so the mushrooms are cooking and while the mushrooms are cooking, we're going to take some chicken out and we're going to prepare our chicken. So we have one whole chicken breast that I've cut in half because that's just how much chicken we eat. Um, boom. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put salt and pepper on both sides. So we've got some salt and we've got some pepper. Put a good bit of salt on them. Put a good bit of pepper on them. Okay, then we're also gonna put some flour on this side, on both sides. So throw some flour up on there. And we're also gonna throw some oregano up on there just to be adventurous. All right, so we're gonna pat this in on this side, rub it in, kind of make it like a little bit of a dry rub type deal. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. To you, is it? Erica's flinging water at me <laughs> and being nonsensical while I'm trying to provide for her. Can you believe that? Yes. I know. They definitely can. <laughs> All right. And then we just kind of rub this on there. Oops. All right. <laughs> so we're going to keep out all the spices and everything. Uh, but this is it for the chicken now. Um, and we will now um, take a break for a minute until the mushrooms get a little bit more cooked. So, all right, guys. So, the mushrooms are about halfway cooked right now. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to take some tomatoes and we're going to add some tomatoes to the mix. What we have is a bunch of cherry tomatoes. So, we're going to have these cherry tomatoes and we're just going to drop them in there. You ask me, Tyler, how many cherry tomatoes do we put in there? My answer is, how much do you like tomatoes? Which is a great answer because it doesn't really matter. You're just trying to make the dish look more colorful and you're trying to eat these tomatoes later on. 
It's not like it really changes the taste of the chicken or anything. I'm putting a little bit more tomatoes in here than usual because our tomatoes are starting to look like grapes, or I mean raisins. So there's a little bit more. So we're just gonna let those cook the rest of the way. All right, folks, they've been cooking for a little while now, so we're gonna move them off the side and we're gonna put the chicken in the dish. All right, well, we're gonna let that chicken go until one side is turning nice and golden. And then we're gonna flip it. And then after we flip it to the other side so that both sides start getting nice and golden, I'll catch back up with you guys. All right, so I lied. I was gonna tell you something else. The chicken isn't quite done yet, but something that we do with this is we put it over the top of like spaghetti noodles or something like that. So while this is going on, I'm also gonna make some spaghetti noodles. If you don't know how to do that, you just put spaghetti noodles broken in half into a pot of water and then you boil the water until the spaghetti noodle gets soft. Very complicated, I know. All right, folks, so both sides are now pretty well golden. As you can see, split for me, there we go. Not looking too shabby. So, what we do at this point in the show is we take some chicken broth and we pour some chicken broth in there. How much chicken broth, Tyler? Eh, just cover the bottom of the pan a little bit. You're also going to want to take some apple cider vinegar and pour a little bit of that in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of flour and sprinkle some flour in there. And we're going to sprinkle a little bit more oregano. It's hard to have too much oregano. All right, we're gonna let that simmer for about three minutes now. <coughs> and while it simmers, we kind of stir the liquid around a little bit. And if you see any chunks of the flour floating about, break them up a little bit.
All right, it's been going for a little while now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn down the heat to, it's been on medium heat, by the way. We're gonna turn it down to somewhere between medium and low, and we're gonna cover it. And then we're gonna let it cook for about 10 minutes, and I'll check back in with you then. All right, it's been going for a while, so let's check it. It's looking pretty good. All right. All right. All right, so the chicken's nice and cooked. It's up to well above the internal temperature of 165 because no one wants food poisoning or to get some kind of weird chicken disease and die. Um, and the sauce is looking pretty good too, guys. So we're gonna plate it now. And by the way, so this is supposed to create some kind of sauce to go with it too. Um, if you've figured out that your chicken broth and um, your uh, apple cider vinegar has evaporated off too much and there isn't enough sauce, you can always throw a little bit more chicken broth and apple cider vinegar in there too. You gotta like let it uh, cook a little bit longer, you know, to get a little bit thicker because um, you don't just want up water. Um, but mine turned out perfect. But if you guys have that problem, you can always uh, do that to help out. Get a little bit of noodles. Put it in the bottom of the bowl. Get a little bit of noodles. And then put it in the bottom of the bowl. Oh, we have a little bit left. All right, give us a little bit more noodles. I didn't cook these noodles long enough, so they're a little bit hard still. But hopefully Erica won't notice. And there we have it, some Mediterranean chicken. And now to taste test it with Erica. Yes, here is the beautiful lady. Don't mind me. I'm sleepy and I have a bad headache. I can't get it cut. I'm struggling. It's a little bit hard to do in a bowl. I usually do it on plates, but I figured a bowl is easier to handle for you. Okay, I got a little piece of it. Okay, so I get a mushroom, tomato, and a little piece of chicken. All right. I like it. I think it's good. I think it um is really good, like well salted today and everything. So That's very good. I think that it's really good. I like it. Try the noodles. The noodles. Okay, I'll do a noodle with a mushroom since the mushroom's right there. The noodles are really good. I like it. I like awesome. it with the mushrooms and everything. I think you did a good job. Thank you. How many stars? Uh, how many stars? <laughs> ten out of ten. All right. She didn't she notice didn't that the noodles, the noodles were still crunchy, still crunchy so, that's so that's good. good. Um, but anyway, um, but anyway, anyway yeah, yeah, that's yeah, Mediterranean, Mediterranean style, style, style uh, uh, chicken, chicken. So, so. Uh, uh, I hope you guys, hope had, you guys fun had fun watching, watching me cook. Me cook. And we'll see you guys, we'll see next, you guys time. next time. Stop watching.